Lenyak gets over there, and sometimes you're just trying to redirect that puck into the net. Unfortunately for Hagens, he redirected it into the body of Lenyak. Not draft eligible until 2025, Craig. There's just an example of the brilliance of Hagens getting in there and a great chance. Yeah, and a great play by Max Platt. I mean, Max Platt has just grown and grown and grown physically and in his game. And the fake shot and vision all the way through and puts it on a tee for James Hagens. And James couldn't believe he missed it that one. USA opened up the tournament in group play here in Espo, beating Slovakia 9-0. But this Slovakian side has gained some confidence. They've improved. They put up an 11 spot on Norway to make sure that they qualified. Heads up. Wow, that came into the crowd with some ease. It's a different team Espo that started Rio. the tournament for Slovakia. We talked about how many young players they have on this team. 10 2007 borns. They looked overwhelmed. They looked like deer in the headlights in that first game, but they have got, they have progressed. They've gotten better. Full marks for beating Czechia in the quarterfinal. There was nothing accidental about it. The team that deserved to win that semifinal, the quarterfinal rather, did. Maruta had a pair. Tomi also scored, and Lenyak 27 saves to get Slovakia to this point. Last year, it was their best finish in 20 years of the tournament, and now, back-to-back -back years, they find themselves in a semifinal again versus USA. Here's Trevor Connolly, trying to get it to Humphreys. Yaroslav Shatan Jr. got it to center, worked right back in, and in comes Connolly, who had a lacrosse-style goal in the preliminary round. They've become commonplace as far as I'm concerned now, Brad. Just a different way to score. There was a time when it was novel. I don't see it as such any longer. Maybe a leech go in the corner to the right side, poked ahead by Kovac. In comes Cole Hudson over the line, gets it back. Hudson delivers in front, wanted Connolly, and it was swept away by Maruna. That's a great play by Maruna to come all the way back to intercept that pass. Cole Hudson hoping to find the Slovaks napping a little bit. Maruna with an excellent defensive play. Andre Maruna, a difference maker in that quarterfinal. He had a beautiful goal, and then he had a seeing eye shot from the far boards that found its way in, and that was the eventual difference maker. Puck cleared to center. Kobe Shell able to tip it in deep as he didn't get a touch. They're going to blow that down. So Cole Hudson, he's always thinking about possibilities, the imagination, the creativity. He goes down deep here. Now he's going to try to throw the puck back the other way. But Maroon in excellent position to intercept it. And then Christian Humphreys kind of trips. Then he gets bumped as he's trying to get back onto his feet. He's off back to the point, shot right on, follow-up drive, backhand score! USA striking first, buried right in front, and it is 1-0. shot to the net and Stiga comes right off the boards but James Hagens is not going to get the point breaker here as it touched the stick up top of the circle before it got to the point but Hensler with a really good shot and then Stiga following it right to the net if they handed out third assists Hagens would get one he won the face off but Stiga is the one that kind of redirected it back to Hensler and then Stiga follows the, sh the play to the net, gets the rebound. For Teddy Stiga, six goals on the tournament, and USA up one nothing. Here's Belushko, back in his own zone. Good steal as Hagens, the give and go. Hagens trying to track in front, Zimmer couldn't get him the puck. Brody Zimmer, the captain this year for Team USA. Here's Belushko cutting in. In comes Nemitz, trying to force the issue in the offensive zone. Stiga works it up that left side. Pass in front, Hagen shot, and that's off a stick and out of play is good pace by Skahan. And from James Hagens. Well, let's go back to the faceoff. Hagens wins the faceoff. Looks like Stiga absolutely touches the puck on that one. 
and then Stiga goes back to the net. Hagens wins it. Oh, yeah. Hagens should not get an assist on that one. Clearly, Teddy Stiga slipped it back to Hensler. USA pass in front as Camille Bednarek tracking in. Number 11, Bednarek, his parents from Slovakia. They moved to USA. He was raised and played his hockey in the Chicago area as he works it down low into the corner. Pass right in front, jamming, jamming away. And Bednarek there as well, couldn't finish up. Larilla works it back down low. Bednarek, Plot, and Iserman going to work up front here for Team USA. 35 minutes in, one nothing. the Americans lead. Lorilla maneuvering in, near boards. Bednarek picks it up, in shot, and you saw Iserman posting in front, looking for that tip. Max Plot in front, Iserman, and he missed right through the crease. He's too shy of tying Cole Caulfield for the USA Hockey National Team Development Program all-time goal-scoring list. Cole Caulfield, 126, Iserman's got 124. Max Platt's going to lose his spirit. He set up Hagens for a glorious chance. And now Cole Eiserman. Those guys better start finishing his great passing plays. We talked to head coach Nick Four. Eiserman's had his looks. He's hit some posts. Had one called back on an offside. So he's got his chances. Scoreless in two. And in his young career, the most he's gone without scoring a goal, three games. So you have to think Eiserman should... Light it back up here tonight. In comes Connolly. Humphreys in the corner. Emery has it across. Hudson. They'll circle around. Hudson, the top scorer for defenseman in the tournament thus far. He's going to hustle back and try. Play the body check there on Straka. It's a really good play by Straka. Defending against Cole Hudson, who's not easy to defend against, and then they get on the offense here. Straka from distance, rebound in front, and a good stop there by Nick Kemp. Kobe Shell works it down low, up to the blue line. That drive didn't miss by much. As Thomas Kobe Shell, four goals, leads his team in the tournament. He's in front again. Kobe Shell jamming for it, and it's taken out of the crease of the near wall. Slovakia pushing for an answer. Kobe Shell again. Up for Belushko. Belushko. He'll send it across. Wrist shot just wide from Khrushchevka. And Van Zaghi finally able to clear it to center for Team USA. Team Van Zaghi will bring it in. His teammates changing behind him. He'll take play into the corner. Nice push back there from Slovakia. Van Vliet tries to jam it in from below the goal line. Comes to Straka. He'll skate it up ice. Tomic at center. Lost the puck. Straka backs him up with Pika. Pika. He got tripped up in the offensive zone. That's a penalty. And he, he the, the back referee saw it, called it a little bit late, but the right call. Slovakia on the power play when we come back to Espo. of studying can guarantee a gambling win. Find tips for safer play at gamblingisrandom.ca. things on the penalty kill for Team USA. 
Bobby Shaw. Radovojevic works it in deep. There's Pika. Pika for Tomic. Radovojevic runs things up top. He's got six assists. Bobby Shaw shoots. And that hit Emery and goes into the corner. Bobby Shaw. Plays pass with Radovojevic. Bobby Shaw. Waits, shoots, and that missed the mark. Into the corner. Tobias Tomic. Tomic to the line. Bobby Shaw. Waits, first shot, knocked down, and Radovojevic has to come to center. Hagen's broke his stick, he's going to change up. Bobby Shell again, in quickly. Slovakia will get it set up. Four power play goals in the tournament for Slovakia. Radovojevic at the line. Bobby Shell waits, tried to throw it in front, and a good job again by Emery. He finds the puck, and he will clear that the length of the ice. In comes Zemer. Lenyak's got to be careful, and he will as he plays it away from Zemer. Good play by Lenyak. He didn't put his defender in any type of compromising position by flipping the puck there. He showed great poise, made sure that his defender wasn't going to have to deal with unnecessary stress. Palushko in the corner. Gets checked by John Whipple. Belushko in front, centering pass, and a good save there by Kemp. He was ready. Belushko again. Got to walk around Whipple from a knee. Belushko sends it down low. There's Shatan spinning, shooting, and the knuckler never found its way through. Whipple, lowest goal line. He blew a tire. Slovakia still controls as we're back to five-on-five five hockey. A good kill again by the Americans. Here's Shatan. He'll leave it in the corner. Severchik trying to spin away. He'll drop it off. USA control skated up ice. In comes Brendan McMorrow. Off the right side. He got checked by Leachko. Shatan able to poke it to center. McMorrow hustling and Kupitz hits him. Pins him in front of the Slovakia bench. USA little foot class. Every shot just missed. What a good look in sight for E.J. Emery as he skated it right in. Another drive off a stick, bouncing below the goal line as Kupitz plays it far boards. Held in by the Americans. Finally jammed to center as Lechinsky got there first. The Americans work it up to that right side. Taking a body check was Teddy Stiga. He'll power in with Bednarek. Hudson closing in, pocket center. Emery back on it. E.J. Emery up the right side for Stiga. Stiga to the left side as Eisenman cuts in front, hoping for the pass from Bednarik. Bednarik got tripped up in the offensive zone. There's Nemitz. He'll drop it off. Rako drops up. Right away, it shoots. And getting just enough was Kemp to keep it out. You could see in this game a lot more confidence from Slovakia going back to that first game where they met the Americans. Nemitz, through center ice, makes a move, brings it in. Nemitz hands it off. High wrist shot, missing the mark from the Slovak player. That shot right on from Jovan. And again, Kemp making some good saves here for USA. Humphreys works it up ice. Connolly. Protects the puck. Wade sends it across. Wanted L.J. Moody. Moody. Nice little move in the corner. Throws it in front. Connolly just poked off his stick. Uh, Sushevka. Good play. Connolly again in front. Comes all the way to the line. Hensel walks it in. And the shot goes wide. Connolly again in the corner. Working with Humphreys down low. Connolly far boards. That battle continues. Chatan's lost his stick, so he's just going to bring play into the corner and try to protect the puck. Belushko there to help. He can't clear either. Penalty coming up. One time drive, and Connolly ripped it wide. And finally, Slovakia gets possession. USA power play when we come back. Join the. There's Hudson. Bull Hudson spins away. For Iserman. Iserman seems it across, spinning away, and right in front. Humphreys, Iserman shoots, score! Can't keep him down for long. Cole 
Iserman now one with you, but I'm just saying, yeah, officially just, give it to him, yeah. so we're just letting the viewers know right now. He should have point, an assist, is the point. He's tied for drop. 21 points in a single tournament, and that's also the American record. So we'll keep you up to date. They may take it back, but we're just letting our viewers know that's what's up. What I should say is they should take it back because he didn't earn an assist. I, I get that they might have given it to him. It's not an earned assist. So for now, he is the all-time tournament leader for Team USA, points in a single tournament with 21. We'll keep you posted. Face off to the left of Nick Kemp. Nemitz will backhand it in. Here's Hensler. Regardless, big picture, it's a special group of players for Team USA at this tournament. And they're trying to accomplish the number one goal, and that's back-to-back -back gold medals. Bouncing puck at center. Nemitz trying to join the play and rush in. Shot, rebound, Nemitz, score! Adam Nemitz buries it, and Slovakia's within one. Martin Lendis has done a terrific job with this group of players. They play on their toes. They were under siege earlier in the game, and then they established their game. This becomes a real good play at the blue line. You just see a pressure play by Slovakia. It creates the turnover, and then the shot to the net, and Nemitz finishes it off nicely. Skahan on a live puck, but if the Slovakia player is not putting pressure on Skahan, it becomes an easier play. Puck to the net, Nemitz to the net, 2-1. Adam Nemitz is second of the tournament. The younger brother to Simon Nemitz, the number two overall pick, who went to New Jersey, and his big brother will compete for Slovakia at the Men's World Championship. That's coming up. He'll be in the same group, by the way, as the United States, up in Strava, Czech Republic, and Czechia. Great response, 2-1 game. Here's Hagens again, cutting in, makes some room. Hagens shot off a stick and wide. Hagens will follow up. He's pinned below the goal line. Zemer picks it up for Whipple. Whipple works it across. Real Mullen. Back to Whipple. Whipple, that drive off a stick and out of play. Playing forward, playing on your toes, not playing back, not playing a whole hockey. And the puck comes right in here to Kemp, and then a redirect by Nemitz going to the net. That play starts at the defensive blue line. Put pressure on Will Skayan. Great to turnover. Slovakia right in this game. They were shut out 9 0 in this building in the tournament over. And with it one now. That's Maruna. Through center ice. Maruna chips it in. Then comes Lachinsky. Lachinsky battling for that puck. Up for Max Plot. Plot at center. Try to get it to Hudson. Pull Hudson back. He saw his brother Lane Hudson make his NHL debut this season with the Montreal Canadiens, a second round pick. Hudson, Iserman, and Hagen's returning players, all of them trying to go back to back gold. Last guy to do that was Austin Matthews. We talked about it off the top of the show. Austin Matthews doing so in 2014 and then in Switzerland again in 2015. So three players with that opportunity this year. Here's Pobijal. Got some space, walks it in. Pobijo shoots, rebound available. And the follow up, trying to find the puck was Tomek. He couldn't, and it's sent to center. Radovojevic there. Radovojevic sends across the ice off the skate of Pobijo. He'll come in with Tomek. Pobijo, round the net, wrap try, and he missed the mark. Couldn't bury that one from behind the net. Here's Straka. Hit by Hudson. Straka pinned in the corner. Bobichel trying to free it. Humphreys able to flip that to center. Just out of the reach of Connolly. Radovojevic back up to Tomic. Tomic lost it right at the line. LJ Mooney takes the check. Straka back to work. He'll flip it in for Tomic, and that was poked away. Here comes Connolly with some pace. Connolly just lost it. Finds the puck again, trying to work it in deep as Kupitz is there. Leachko. Trying to work it up the wall. And it's Slovakia, two on two, but the pass comes right to Hensler. 
Hensler for Connolly. I don't think he got a piece. He did not. That's nice in charge against USA. So impressed with Slovakia. Their team play, understanding that playing on your back foot is not a good idea against a team that wants to pressure you and force you. That young man behind the bench deserves so much credit for not only getting his players to understand what it's going to take to be successful at this tournament, but to give them the confidence after they didn't start out so well. Very impressive here by Slovakia. Martin Dendis, a wonderful job as Slovakia. Great period here versus Team USA. Connolly comes back at center to try to get the clock hand pass. They'll blow that down. 439 to go. USA leads 2-1 in our first semifinal. When it comes to Tim's smile cookie, not every smile is perfect. <laughs> Again? But they all make a difference. Because 100% of smile cookie proceeds go right back into your neighborhood. Spreading millions of smiles to over 600 local charities and community groups. Helping our neighbors all across the country. Get your smile cookie from April 29th to May 5th and help us make a difference. Feeling Claritin Clear is like... Is she? Claritin Clear. Yeah. Get fast, non-drowsy allergy symptom relief. Live Claritin Clear. Oh, Uber Eats has groceries now? I gotta remember that. You know, the best way to remember something is just forget something. What'd you forget? Hard to say. I know what you forgot. Two former teammates, Meryl Chatan on the one side, Derek Platt on the other side. Derek was part of the 1999 Stanley Cup champion Dallas Stars. They were teammates in Buffalo. Their two sons here <laughs> playing in a U18 tournament. How cool is that? A lot of father-son combinations this year. He's also the president of Slovak Ice Hockey Federation, so proud of his son and proud of the way his country has played in this tournament. Wrist shot from distance, tip Zemer in front, got a stick on it, he picks it back up. Zemer in the corner. Hagens towards the net, that was blocked. Hagens up for Hensler. Hensler across, Skahan hustling, and he'll swing at it, but that'll pop out of play. That's a great defensive play, because when you watch how the right side winger, Sharenko in this thing, he stays up, which forces Skahan to have to stay back because they can get a break, and now you're not under siege. They, the defenders can't keep pushing the play down. Just up there, you see it right here, Skahan had to back off. That's the pressure. That's playing on your front feet. Off the draw, Eiserman lays it black. Lorilla shoots, good stop. Lenyak found it through all the traffic in front. Whipple, helped out by Lorilla. He gets back and gets the puck for Team USA. Sam Lorilla, off the wall for Max Plunk. Belushko, works it up ice. Out to play it was Kemp. Puck available in the corner. Govan. Trying to get that backhand in front. Up to Lichko. And that was just out of the reach of Govan. He goes back to work in the far corner. And her four to go first period. Back-to-back -back meetings in consecutive semifinals for these two nations. Max Blot through center. He'll bring it in over the line. One on three. Continues to work. Kufetz took it away. Eiserman. Trying to curl around and create some space in front, and he couldn't get away from Leachko. Good job, Leachko, to stick with that dangerous sniper. That wrist shot missed the mark as Lechinsky let it go. Comes right to Flan. Flan's again. Here's Baker. Baker at center over the line, and Austin Baker flips it in. USA starting a change behind the play. 2.45 left in this first period. The USA knows they're in a game here. The Slovakia is playing really well. Here's Straka. Low man in right now. Straka walks it in. Round the net. Straka trying to get that centering pass in front. Babush in the corner. Babush gets checked by Hudson. And there's Emery to help out. Emery to the right side. Tomek the backhand in. 
Adaboyevich. Komen. For Straka up ahead, he'll drive play into the corner. Kobe Gel there, but he pokes it right to Hudson, who has the puck. Played up the right side as McMorrow lost it. Belushko, he got back defensively, off quickly to the line. There's Straka, drops it off. Kobe, great shot, and that was handled as Kemp has had a busy period here. Kobe Gel has the puck. Kobe Gel trying to spin away. Thomas Pobigel, cutting it, power move off the side of the pipe. Good work as he was looking for his fifth of the tournament. He had four in that game versus Norway where they put up 11. Shots on goal were 5-0 for the USA at one point. They were up 1-0. Since that point in time, you can see the shot clock. 11 for Slovakia, 6 for USA. Stevens had his pocket pick with Higgins and Pika the other way, the backhand. Here's Zimmer. Lost it. Hagen's trying to help him out. James Hagen's has the puck. Nice little pop pass. Left for Seamer. In front, trying to get the shot away with Stiga, and he went hard into the end boards. Back into the battle, though, on his skates. He's pinned by Kupitz. Final minute here at Espo. Entertaining first period in our first semifinal. Here comes Hagen's in. Shoots, looking top corner. Deflects high into the slot. Lorilla finds it. Lorilla. Stiga threads it across. Real Mullen for the captain. Free shot right on. And that'll be whistled down as yeah, from a tough angle. It was a good try there by Brody Zimmer to try to find a little bit of space. And a little bad blood here. Slovakia has not taken a back seat here at all. They, they, they have played so well. Competitive, smart, quick. Really, really strong. First period. You want to watch for growth in young players. You want to watch the growth of a team. And certainly Slovakia from game one, not, not really ready to compete at this level. They learned a lot over the course of time where they find themselves in this semifinal match. Full marks for a very strong first period. Coming up in our intermission, Craig will profile James Higgins, an unbelievable talent in this tournament, in front of the player profiles, plus Laura and Dave standing by. There's Pete got long shot up in the crest, and Nick Kemp is going to hang on to that with 21.1 to go. Territorial play. You go to the net. You're gonna have to defend it to net. When you go to the net, have to defend it to net, you get friction. When you're in a semi-final game, that friction's a little hotter. Twenty-one point one to go, face off the like of Nick Kemp. Shots 14-11 in favor of Team USA. Yaroslav Chitan Jr. lining up to take the draw. Three assists for him in the tournament. Would love to get his first in a big time game. Buck drop, off the drop, reshot. And interference call coming up. Jesse Gore with the call. A little backstory on Jesse Gore. I grew up with his mother, Debbie Megalitzi. We went to high school together, friends. Here he is. How do how the connections work around the world? <laughs> it's a small world when Montreal, it comes to hockey, Craig. Very Montreal. Cool. That is. Debbie's watching, wishing you all the best. We got a reunion coming up in 2025. So Miguel, severe check interference right off that big sock. That's a tough one. Offensive zone. 18 seconds left here in the period. Great chance for USA to crack a late one. Hensler lays it down low. Pass in front off the side of the net. Connolly. 
Gotta be quick. Seven seconds left, but a good job by Straka. He'll bring it up by shorthanded. Straka, and that's into the glove. And stopped. And you talked about territory, Craig. Colby Gell right in the face of Kemp. And that's gonna cause all this. Radovojevic, Straka in the middle of things. You wanna, you wanna find a way to win? You gotta start by competing. This is what competition looks like. It's edgy, it's hard. And keep in mind, the Slovakia team has 10 kids that are 2007 born. They're a year younger than the vast majority of the competition here. They have grown literally and figuratively from the time this tournament started. The confidence has grown. They're not intimidated one bit. They're, they're right in the mix. So it looks like offsetting miners, Straka Connolly going to the box. We talked with head coach Nick Four before the game, and he said, you know what? It, was, it wasn't an easy game versus Swiss in their quarterfinal, and it's not gonna be easy in this one. Trying to find that game. He's like the evolution of this team, the growth and where they're at, but it's not gonna be handed to them. They're in tough versus Slovakia, gotta earn it. One of the things that happens too is you, when you beat a team the way USA beat Slovakia in their game one on April 25th in the first game of the tournament, you, you gotta have your players not be in the mindset thinking it's going to be easy. You start out the game 5-0 in shots, you're carrying play, you score to make it one nothing. And then from that point on, Slovakia has been full marks here so Nick Four doesn't have to remind his team. Slovakia has reminded Team USA that this is going to be a hard road. Gotta love it. USA ends up with the extra penalty here, so that penalty that they had will now be negated. Four on four to finish and to start the second period. That is an impressive period for Slovakia as they battle back. Goals from Stiga. Iserman and Nemitz. Their mission is coming up with Laura and Dave next. sale is back with incredible five-day deals. Save $800 on this sofa. Rusty queen bed just $2.99. Plus, while quantities last, 33-inch side-by-side fridge, only $7.99. The Brick, saving you more. Hey, Canada, come on down to Montana's and dig into our in-house smoked fall-off-the-bone ribs. Anchoring for more? Add your choice of seasoned chicken to any rib entree for just $5 each. Flavor and value only at Montana's, Canada's home for barbecue. Power doesn't sound like it used to. The all electric ID4 with instant acceleration. Electric feels good. Volkswagen. The Ferrero Rocher Chocolate Bar. Crunchy hazelnuts, smooth chocolate, creamy filling. Make any moment worth celebrating. Ferrero Rocher. Hi, can I take your order? Hello? Oh, hey. Wait, what was the question? Let me guess. One driving high combo, extra baked? No. Uh, could I get a burger with a side of fries? Think you're a better driver when you're high? Think again. Smoking weed affects reaction time and concentration. A message from Mad Canada. Oh, Uber Eats has groceries now? I gotta remember that. You know, the best way to remember something is just forget something. What'd you forget? Hard to say. I know what you forgot. Kids need sports. Jumpstart needs you. So say yes to donating and help families across Canada overcome financial barriers to sport and play. 
See? Now that's a whole lot to cheer about. Learn more at jumpstart.canadiantire.ca. I wanna be a great. Pro Women's Hockey is here. There is nothing stopping this woman. I love the physical play. For 60 years, we've been beside you, loving hockey. Through the highs, the lows, and everything in between. The game's come a long way, and together, we can take it further. After going the last two games without a point, Cole Eisenman is back in a big way, getting goal number 125 of his career. Let's hear from him now with Brian. Cole, I get to cover Cole Caulfield in the NHL, and he always says his favorite goal is the next one, and we know you're closing in on him. So for you, how did it feel to score that goal for your team in the first period? Yeah, I felt really good. Uh, obviously, whenever I get this to score, I'm pretty excited, and uh, hopefully the boys are excited as well. How much is your experience from last year? You had nine goals last year. How does that carry over for you and your teammates now being a leader this year? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I, I learned a lot from the guys last year, and uh, to be able to bring that to this year is huge. And, um, you know, we're two wins away, and, and that's all that matters right now. They gave you a pretty tough period there in that opening 20. What's important to get going for Team USA as this game continues? Yeah, they're trying to knock us off our game, but I think, you know, just being USA and being strong and being, uh, you, lo you know, loyal to each other and kind of staying out of the box is huge. And, uh, you know, when we get the chance, we're going we're gonna to bury it. Thanks for your time. Good Thank you. You're welcome. So, yes, Cole Eiserman just one goal away from setting another record. <laughs> a lot of records set to fall here at these men's U18s. As Laura and Dave back with you once again. A perfect place for us to start, Mr. Cole Eiserman, who said, yeah, kind of an off couple of games for him as he was held off the score sheet in the last two, but getting a huge goal for the U.S. here, especially considering the fight the Slovaks were putting up in this opening period. Well, we, we, we've seen players like Alexander Ovechkin set up in a spot, uh, and Ovechkin does it on the other side being a righty. Cole Eiserman's a lefty, and he's set up in this spot throughout this tournament. We saw it last year in the tournament where he scored nine goals, led the tournament as U.S. won gold last year. He's a one-time shooter, and he's got a tremendous release. He's off the dot, waiting for the puck. His stick is already ready to shoot the puck. We haven't seen it in a couple of games, and you see the frustration in Eisenman earlier in this tournament. You don't see it after that goal. That is a typical Cole Eisenman goal. Boston University is going to see plenty of Cole Eisenman goals in the next few years, as that's where he's going to be next year. The Newburyport Mass. Uh, native is playing sensational, and I would expect he gets another one this game. Okay. You just saying. It. Just saying. You heard it from he, him. He, he scores in bunches. Ball. That's four goals against Slovakia in two games. He likes playing Slovakia. And you could see the relief when he got that goal oh, in the celebration yes. there to make it 2 nothing for the U.S. We talk about the little details and how important they are in a tournament like this where you just want to keep getting better and better as things progress. Uh, you know, special teams gets that importance, but there's something else that you wanted to highlight. What is it? it it's face-offs. And, and when you're strong in the face-offs such as the U.S. are, you can set up in different ways. And we see Cole Eiserman in the, in the start of the game about a minute and a half in, sets up on the blue. It looks like you've got three defensemen here. Cole Eiserman's in the middle. And you talk about a guy wanting to score. It's a running start. If they win this draw, he takes a running start at it. The goal scored a couple minutes later is off his normal face-off setup. You've got your wingers down low. You've got your centerman in the middle. Actually, this one has Stieg is set up lower behind as a quick shot, but he taps it back, and this is the issue that Craig was getting into as far as the, the, uh, uh, the assist to Hagen's. But in this one, instead of having your winger at the blue line with a running start, Stieg is just standing right behind Hagen's on the faceoff. The U.S. are so strong on the faceoffs. You have to have set faceoff plays, and you have to have different looks. And the U.S. had two different looks in the first four minutes, and it resulted in the first goal. And as it stands right now, James Hagen's does have two assists in that opening period. <laughs> so that means we've got a tie when it comes to the single tournament all-time scoring record, 21 points and counting for James Hagen's. Again, Hagen's guaranteed to play another game tomorrow whether that's for gold or for bronze we'll have to wait and see well yes Iserman knocking on the door for that one as well could be a very big game for team USA holding on to that 2-1 lead and you know in the early goings we're like uh oh here we go again you know when they faced off in the preliminary round 9-0 win for the U.S. over Slovakia it was three minutes into the game already won nothing the Slovaks went almost six minutes without a shot but it is a much different Slovak team that we're seeing this time than we did a little over a week ago. Uh, absolutely. Uh, the, Craig talked about it. They pressed, they pushed, they pushed the pace of the game. 
And for Slovakia, they're going to have to continue this. The shots were 13 12 US. And for the Slovaks, they just dump the puck out and they get the lucky bounce at the blue line. The puck bounces over the defender's stick and it's right here. Here's a funny little bounce, but you're just pushing the puck forward. Push the puck forward. There's no play here. You're at the dot, or I should say at the hash mark to the boards. Throw the puck to the net for a rebound. That's exactly what, ha what's ha what happens. And Nemec is able to bang the rebound in. It may not be fancy hockey. Remember, there's 10 players in this team who are underage players who, will, who, who could return for next year's tournament. It's a young team that's built confidence along the way, but their game is a simple game. Push the puck out of your zone, push the puck forward, get the puck to the net, and right now, as you saw at the end of the period, maybe get in the other team's kitchen mm -hmm. a little bit. And they are doing that to the U.S. They are going to be an aggravating team to play against the rest of the way. And good for Slovakia, young team playing against one of the best teams we've ever seen at this tournament. And it's amazing to think they started 0-3, they gave up 18 goals in those first three games, and now here they are with a chance to play for the gold medal tomorrow. A one-goal game in our first semifinal, and yes, he's been one of the stars of this tournament on the brink of making history. We've got the scouting report on James Higgins when we come back. And that's how I remember Uber Eats has coffee. I remember something by forgetting something else. Okay, have a seat. <laughs> a what? A, a, a seat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what's been... Oh. 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 Is this having a seat? Um, no. I can't believe you corporate types are still at it. Just stop calling each other rock stars. And using Workday to put finance and HR on one platform? Tim, you are a rock star. Using responsible AI doesn't make you a rock star. Us. You are not rock stars. <clears throat> okay, most of you are not rock stars. Ooh, data-driven insights, large language models. Oh, that's so rock and roll. It is, right? You get it, yeah. Introducing the most powerful Tacoma ever. Shut the front With door! The shut the front door handle. Also known as the Seriously Wrong, Seriously wrong Handle. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Or the Whoa, 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 whoa Handle. And even no, 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 me gusta. the No Me Gusta Handle. Standard on the all new Toyota Tacoma. of studying can guarantee a gambling win. Find tips for safer play at gamblingisrandom.ca. Hey, Canada, come on down to Montana's and dig into our in-house smoked fall-off-the-bone ribs. Anchoring for more? Add your choice of seasoned chicken to any rib entree for just $5 each. Flavor and value only at Montana's, Canada's home for barbecue. <laughs> So again, as it stands right now, James Higgins with two assists in that opening period, which means he is now tied for the most points at a single U18 tournament with Nikita Kucherov. Amazing to think Higgins, who played in this tournament last year, had five points. Again, he's got 21 so far with two periods to go in this one and another game tomorrow on tap. Well, now it's time for the scouting report on James Higgins. For that, here's Craig Button. James Higgins isn't available until the 2025 draft, and certainly a top five, top three draft pick. 
a center who's such a smart player, a playmaking center who's got the great vision. I call it 360 degree awareness. And plays the game in the tight areas. He can, he can maneuver. When it looks like you might have him tied up, his hands are always free. He's always able to make a play in tight areas and in traffic. Reminds me a lot in the way he plays of Nazem Kadri. Maybe not the edge of Nazem Kadri, but that kind of ability to kind of slither through areas. You don't think he's by you, and he's by you. You don't think he's strong enough to get by you, and he's by you, and he's hard to handle. And always ready to attack. I look for players offensively that are going to make good plays and are going to make a difference in the game. You better attack to the net. You better attack inside the dots. You better attack into the inner slot area. That's what James Higgins does. And he does it with his skating. He does it with his playmaking. He might not be able to get there with his skating because it's blocked off, but he can do it with his skating. A really well-rounded center and a real key player for this Team USA and somebody certainly that has all the ability to be a number one center in the NHL in the years to come. It has been a dream tournament for James Hagens and the Americans, but getting the fight here from the Slovaks in the first of two semifinals on the day. We've got your second period coming up. Hey, Canada, kick your week off right at Montana's. Our wings are double dusted in-house, sauced up, and half price every Monday. Why not pair them with a 14-ounce draft? Just $4.99 every day, only at Montana's. The Bricks Tent Sale is back. We came when they were setting up to... To uh, say hi to the team? Definitely not scoping out product. Bricks Tent Sale is back with incredible five-day deals. This dining table is just $2.99. Save $600 in this sleeper section. And RCA TV only $99. The Bricks saving you more. Okay, okay. I work here. Technology goes beyond special effects. Or epic camera shots. Shh. It's my favorite part. It offers surprising new perspectives. Evokes feelings. It takes you places that seemed out of reach. When technology becomes an extension of yourself, that's progress you can feel. That's how you Hi, can I take your order? Hello? Oh, hey. Wait, what was the question? Let me guess. One driving high combo, extra bait? No. Uh, could I get a burger with a side of... fries? Think you're a better driver when you're high? Think again. Smoking weed affects reaction time and concentration. A message from Mad Canada. Oh, Uber Eats has groceries now? I gotta remember that. You know, the best way to remember something is just forget something. What'd you forget? Hard to say. I know what you forgot. Stiga, Iserman, Nemitz, your goal scorers there in that first period. And Hagen's picking up those all-important two points. We've got your second period and a close one between the U.S. and Slovakia. So here again, Brian and Craig. Welcome back to Espo, 3 p.m. local time. And then, yep, that young man right there, James Hagen's a couple of assists. He's tied with Nikita Kucherov, 21 points for a single tournament. United States still correct, they were in. Sup, Slovakia, full credit. The Americans up 2-0 early. The goal from Nemitz, and they push back in the late stages of that frame. They, they pushed back right when they were down 1-0, five old shots on goal. And they, they, they just pushed the play. They had a great offensive zone sequence. Then they got on the power play, and they never backed up. They never backed down, and that's what you can expect from the team going forward. We'll start the second period four on four as Nick Ford and his coaching staff trying to go back to back gold medals. The United States so dominant over the years at this program. 11 gold, five silver, three bronze. That win last year was their first gold medal though since back in 2017. Trying to go back to back underway in the second as Radovojevic, weird bounce off the side of the net. It sits there. 
Jam free, and now it's back on the ice. There's Hudson. Brody Zemer throws it up that right side. Hagen's hustling, can't get there in time. It'll be ice in charge against USA. Well, to say that James Hagen's is on a heater would be an understatement. Surprising the ice isn't melting underneath him, he's so hot. Face off to the right of Nick Kemp. Played up to center. Here is Hagen. He'll drop it back. Emery. We saw Emery's dad, Eric, who played in the Canadian Football League. Had a chat with him early in the tournament. Hagen's. Throws it back up top. Great shot. Emery just missing. Will Hudson picks it back up for USA. Spinning away from Pobijal. Hudson drives play down low. Hudson, watched by Ushave Guff, puts it up to the blue line. Hagens, spinning away from traffic, behind the net. Hagens with the puck. Gliding around in the offensive zone, it did come out to center as Pobijel was able to poke that away from him momentarily. Emery for Hudson. Cole Hudson. Tomek gives him a little shot. Hudson walking it in. Hudson making moves, and Tomek cut back and took that pass away. Kobe Jill and Tomek the other way for Slovakia. Tomek, wrist shot, just missed for corner. We had a great look, Craig, and that just missed. Some pace the other way. LJ Mooney circling. Mooney curls around again, goes to the point. Skahan. With it for USA. And a good stick. Who hits and that'll be out of play. We saw an excellent play by Maroon in the first period, intercepting a pass. And this is an, another outstanding defensive play by Tomek. And it goes the other way. And this is the one where he just misses. That's the good look that we saw. But really great defensive awareness. He gets just... That was in the first period, setting up E.J. Emery. So a brief power play here for Slovakia now. Radovojevic behind his head, trying to get to the puck. Good hustle by McMorrow. McMorrow, great work by him on this shift. And that'll do it for a very brief power play. Here's Jatan in his own zone. Watch by McMorrow. Here on Chetan Jr. hands it off. Up to Kovan. Kovan, stretch pass up ahead. It was intended for Zavir Chief. He gets taken out of the play. And it's Platt the other way with Iserman. Platt, what a burst, cutting in. Platt couldn't get the shot off, and the net off the moorings. Great burst of speed from Max Platt as he cut in from that right side. Max is a player that just has continually grown physically, and with it, quicker, faster, able to handle the physical rigors. And that's just going to continue as he heads to University of Minnesota Duluth and going to play with his older brother, Zam. Younger brother, Victor, is going to be part of the 2008 group. Scott Sandlin is such an outstanding coach at UNP, three-time national champion. There's Papa Derek. so important for the players to not only to understand what the strengths of their game are, but to get themselves into situations where they can be developed. And certainly with Max going to UMD, that's exactly what you get with Scott Sam. Here's Iserman trying to get it across and play setup man. Did a great interview with us in that first intermission. Big smile on his face after scoring that goal for his team. Juan circles around. That Narek wanted Eisenman. He missed it. Larilla across. One time drive. Platt score as he snuck it through. And the USA on the goal from Platt makes it 3 1. Max Platt in this game has been the USA's best player. He, he set up Hagens and Eisenman for tap ins that they couldn't finish. Great pass to Eisenman. But now the ability to move the puck, and it's not just what he does. To move the puck, now he gets himself open, and what a great pass across by Lorilla. Don't watch your play, get ready for the next play, and that's exactly what Max Plant does here. Sneaks across the goal line. 
3-1 USA. Hard to believe his first goal in the tournament. Big smile for him on the bench. Big smile from dad as well. Played 450 games in the National Hockey League. Currently an assistant coach with the Chicago Blackhawks. They try to rebuild their team. And later in our second semifinal, Canada-Sweden, we'll see another father-son combo as Jerome McGinley is here, special advisor to Craig Conway, and his son Tej McGinley has had a wonderful tournament for Team Canada. It'll be our second semifinal. Here's Connolly on the puck in front. Moody across shot, and that didn't get through as Humphreys. I think Lenyak got a piece of that as Humphreys, a great look in tight. Connolly back to work. Humphreys lays it back for Hudson. Pull Hudson. Checked by Lechinsky. And a penalty coming up to Team USA. So it'll be interference call. Classic interference. The puck got behind Cole Hudson. Lechinsky's trying to skate behind him. And Cole Hudson knows he's in trouble. And he's got to get the interference going. There it is. Textbook. U.S. trying to extend their lead to 4-1. The left pad on Humphreys kicks out, and Lenyak makes sure that Slovakia doesn't fall behind by three. Four for 15 on the power play. Coming into this game is Slovakia. Comes back to Radovojevic. Six assists in the tournament for his team. Hobijal, the captain. Back to Radovojevic. Radovojevic, far point for Tobin. Radovojevic, wait, shoots up high and he missed. Side of the net, jam play comes out in front. Pobyshell, Radovojevic. Radovojevic, one-time drive, Tomic. And that missed the mark. Bouncing puck and the follow-up missed, and USA able to clear that to center. Stretched up for Pitka. Tobias Pitka. Radovojevic. Lays it into the corner. Kraka racing after it. Tomic able to hold his own. Tomic, Radovojevic. Wait, shoots, deflection in front. And Kemp was ready. Shut things down, allowing USA to clear that to center. Quickly for Tomic. Tomic. Got checked, but hands it off. Lorenko. Back for Tomic. Orenko to the goal line, Chatan. Chatan takes contact, still has the puck. Here's Slav Chatan. He'll drop it off. To the forehand, uh, Straka trying that jam play, tries again. Straka delivers the pass, comes up top. Tomi loads up, and that might have hit Chatan and went wide. Radovojevic picks it up in the corner. Under 30 to go with the man advantage. Radovojevic trying to spin away there, Chatan to help him out. Cleared, but not out as Severci picked it off. Renko keeps the play alive, moves it across. Lushko shot. Hit a body, went wide. Just a few seconds left in the power play for Slovakia. Severci plays it below the goal line. Five on five hockey as Cole Hudson's out of the box. Lushko has it at the line. Belushko hesitates, and the shot never made its way through, and Brody Zemer finally at center. They'll flip that back end in deep. Another good kill by the USA penalty kill, and they come via Connolly. He'll work it across the shot up high, bouncing over Lenya. Connolly looking to dig it free. He's in there with Hagens. Connolly will drop it off. Give it, go past Hagen's side of the net, and he nearly cashed in. Connolly, Larilla, cross ice pass. That shot up high, stop. Lenyak stopped it. And I think his mask. He called right away to have his mask looked at from that shot as USA leads 3 1.
Happy birthday, big guy. Your old minivan? Your old minivan. It still runs? Like new. And thanks to Fountain Tire's trusted, reliable service, you'll be driving this for a long time. Never getting rid of this baby. Great. And of course, quality tires. Why is that guy there? Because, honey, wherever you go, Fountain Tire is right there with you. You finally have a friend. I have friends, Dad. Your very first buddy. Fountain Tire. We're on this road together. Interrupted by dry eyes? Get fast-acting relief with Hydrosense Eye Drops. Made with a naturally sourced lubricant. Hydrosense Eye Drops. Had a great chat with head coach Nick Moore before this game, and James Higgins has been dynamite in this tournament. He said for James being cut from that world junior team, you know, it was tough for him to take, but great players find a way to rebound, and James did that. He continued to work hard. He's elevated his game, and Craig, you talked about it. Where is that ceiling? Because he just continues to impress and set the bar higher. Well, as you push, as, as you push your ceiling and show that you, your ceiling might not have a height, that it can be even higher, that, that's what players continue to show. That's exactly what James Higgins has continued to show. Hudson got tripped up. Bouncing puck comes to Connolly. Connolly at the line for USA, and that was knocked away by Maruna. Trevor Connolly with some speed up the left side. Centering pass, curling around is Hagen, so lead for Hudson. Hudson, far circle, that drive missed up high. Picked up by Hagen's. He'll dish it back into the corner. Connolly for Stiga. Stiga up top, Hudson. Hudson takes contact. That was a good body check there from Lachinsky to free the puck and work into USA territory. And that'll be icing against USA. So when you, you got a good player, you want to be hard on him, and that's exactly what Slovakia knows when they're playing against James Hagens. And so on that first assist, you know, Hagens wins the faceoff, Stiga touches it, back to Hensler, Hensler back to the net, and Stiga puts it in. That is an assist. And I thank Dave Reed back in the studio for sending me the clarification on that. So he does sit at 21 points. Little nuance that I should have known, that didn't know. I didn't go. recognize. I recognize it now thanks to Mr. Reed. Shot in front, just wide. 21 points tied with Akita Kucherov for the single tournament record. With some hockey to come. Approaching the midway point of this second period in our first semifinal. There's Max Plant with Eisenman. Plant shoots. And Lehiak, I thought he had it in the glove, but he, he didn't look as convinced as I did. But he makes the save. <laughs> he, he thought he had it in his glove too, but he wasn't sure. Remember, Max Plant slipped one in on the third goal. This is a quick play up the ice. And you know, on the long play, with the long change rather in the second period, you know, the ability to take advantage, get yourself up the ice, the transition game for the U.S. is something that Slovakia or any opponent has to be aware of. You turn that puck. Iserman in, nearly got that back end away. You turn over the puck at the top of the circles or in the neutral zone to a good transition team, you're in trouble. Bednara, good move along the wall. Iserman, the body check far boards. Moved up the ice by Belushko. Belushko chips it in. In comes Kovan. Kovan couldn't get possession. Puck high at Slovakia's line. Played to center. Pass behind Shatan and a collision. Straka. And then coming over was Tomic. Straka. is in a lot of discomfort here. Andreas Straka at the blue line. This will be reviewed. I don't think there's any question it will be reviewed. And, and it should be reviewed to give the referees an opportunity. Eyes have been coming across. It looks like a really good solid body check, though, right through the body. Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with that body check. I think it's textbook by Cole Eisenman. He leans down, he leans into the body. 
And we've seen we've seen the referees come out of the penalty box and go no penalty. I think that's a case of no penalty. I think Straka just he took a big body check, but you watch how Cole Eisenman delivers this check. Knees bent, coming through with the shoulder into the body. To me, that is textbook. He's winded. And they're going to review it, and, and they should. If, if, if they see the same thing I see, they should come out of here and go, no penalty, because that is not a penalty. Hard body check for sure. Solid body check for sure. But not a penalty. We saw Charlie Ellick of Team Canada deliver a big body check on Leon Moogley, the captain for Switzerland, that knocked him out of the tournament. And it's unfortunate that Moogley's out, but at the same time, you know, it's, there's body contact, and you here comes Eiserman right through. It, you might be able to call it interference because the puck is, but I don't think it's even interference. There's just the play is too quick. Eiserman's looking to complete a check and. I don't think it's interference either. Heavy body check, but. There's Tomek sitting in the penalty box because he received a penalty for retaliation on Eiserman for the hit. Referees Jesse Gore from Canada, now Alexander Holstenberg. Uh, I, I see zero evidence of anything wrong with that body check. Saw so Stracker getting some freezing spray there on the bench. Obviously, as you said, winded. And it'll hurt. And that's why Tomic is going to the box as he responded at the blue line. It's a thunderous body check. There's no question about it. You can see right away that it would be a reviewable play. And we're going to get a decision coming up here now from the officials. Eisenman's coming out of the box. Call 100% the right call. There is no doubt about that. And you pointed out, Craig, multiple times in this tournament. Review it, get it right, get the right call, and they did. Well, and the confidence that goes with being able to watch it and go, you know, they have to make the call in real time. And the opportunity to just gain greater confidence that it is the right call, I think it's critically important. So now Martin Denise is getting an explanation. Well, USA is going on a power play. Yep. The Cole number Eisenman's one power play in the powerful, tournament. Sorry. Cole Eisenman's a powerful player, too. So when you come through with that kind of power, that kind of leverage, those are big open ice body checks. Ranked 12 by NHL Central Scouting for the upcoming draft for North American skaters. That'll be at the Sphere in Las Vegas. And as you pointed out, the best goal scorer in that draft. For me, he is. Yeah. Power play time for the USA. A chance to expand the lead up 3-1. to one. Seamer dishes back to Hudson. There's Hagens. Back to Hudson. Wrist shot, and that's off the stick and out of play. As you know, Heiserman, a lot of volume. He leads his team in shots on goal. And it's coming in 25 and counting in this game. And Slovakia is aware of, of his proficiency in scoring. So get out there. We saw in the first goal the one timer, no chance for any deflection or for the goalie to stop it. Seamer wins it clean. Back to Hudson. Hudson flips for Hagens. Hagens, Hudson, low top rebound. And a good pad save, Lanyak, and it's chipped down the ice. Good second ever from Pika. 
James Higgins at the blue line. Brings it in with Juan. Higgins delays. Higgins up for Hudson. Full Hudson. Down low. Pass in front. Plot. And Iserman skated by it. He'll hustle. And then he took the hip check. And it's cleaned up by Pobichol, the captain. Pobichol plays in the Slovakia Extra League. That's the Pro League in Slovakia. He knows his way around the rink and how to play the game. He gets under Iserman there. First from Higgins. See pass across. And the stick of Hushivka broke that up. Plot off the boards. Seamer shoots and just wide. Higgins drop pass, Hudson. Hudson in, shoot, score! What a shot! Cole Hudson with a rocket, and it's 4-1 USA power play goal. We've seen some really good goaltending by Lendiak, and he exposes that short side over the shoulder, and Cole Hudson sees it and buries it. This is what happens when you give up that part of the net, and there's no mistake here. Hudson, eyes up. Looking for an opening, and he finds an opening, and right over that right shoulder, Hagens gives him the little backhand dish, and that will establish the all-time record for points in a single U18 tournament. 22 and counting for Hagens. Not like we're surprised. He's got so much talent, as is that young man, as he buries it. Well, when you have your eyes up, Cole, Cole Hudson has his eyes up all the time. So he's always probing for opportunities, probing for openings, whether passing or shooting. Great example there. That ends the day. Brown and Lenyak. Mark Peronik comes into the net. Slovakia down 4-1. Keep in mind how that goal all started. It starts with a power play off of a bloody check by Cole Eiserman and a retaliation. <laughs> USA in our first semi-final looking for more. Pass across, LJ Mooney. Mooney, down low, Humphrey spinning, shooting, and that just stayed out. Might have glanced the crossbar as the new goalie, Martin Theronik, welcome to the tournament as he's 0-2 to come in. And his first action as he comes in relief. He's allowed nine goals on 69 shots in the tournament. Will Skahan, Snick snaps as he passed it to center. Leachko works it across. Kupets plays that down the ice. No icing. Hensler pokes that into the corner. Worked up the left wing, intended for Van Vliet. Kemp will settle it down. Play to center, Van Vliet with Baker. Here's Van Vliet cutting in. Knocked off his stick by Hushevka. Baker. Trying to steal and keep it alive in the offensive zone. It does come to center. Van Sagi there. And shot in by Whipple. In comes Baker. Rayo Mullet. Quick shot right on Van Vliet. And that was handled. By her only pass right in the slot. Baker goes up top for Whipple. John Whipple, far boards. Drops off the back end. Worked in deep. Good pressure here by USA. Real Mullen. And Bleak. Whipple towards the net, and that trickled to glove and just kept out. Veronique is going to be in tough here. Trying Veronique to come and looked hold. like he missed that shot. Put the glove up and didn't look steady, Craig. <laughs> Under eight to go in the second period, and you know that last goal from Hudson has taken the life out here of Slovakia a little bit. Zemer, touch pass, Hagens. James Higgins cutting in, trying to get the shot off. And it's worked out of harm's way to the far boards. USA chips it back in. There's Higgins in the corner. Higgins, Siga, wanted Zemer. His stick was lifted and it's chipped to center. There's E.J. Emery. Stiga, Higgins, 
cutting in, and it was cleared by Fabouche. Emery for Hudson. Hudson's pass that was knocked down. It actually hit Mar Maruna. Play to center. Radovojevic there on his own line. To the left side. And it's good to see Andreas Straka okay after taking that big hit from Eisenman. Higgins gets the puck to center. Eisenman battling. Trying to get it across for Zemer. Lichinski. Drives play in for Slovakia. Lechinski trying to power in. Hudson closed him off. There's Baruna. Below the goal line with Lechinski. Lechinski spinning away. Centering pass in front. Quick strike and held. A good chance and a nice save from Nick Kemp as he keeps it a 4-1 game. Little Caesars Chicago-style pizza is loaded with toppings. On toppings. On toppings. Fully loaded Chicago style pizza only at Little Caesars. Chicago, Chicago. Mm. Mm, uncle. At Fidelity, we know that everyone's got financial goals, and they're all different. But the one thing we share, we all want to get to them sooner. Hockey is more than a sport, it builds self esteem, teamwork, and lifelong friendships. I just wouldn't be me if it wasn't for hockey, and I think if I lost that, I think I'd lose a big part of me. Without the Hockey Canada Foundation Assist Fund, thousands of kids like Lamar won't be able to access the game. Donate now to help us ensure every child across Canada has the chance to play. Head coach Nick Moore, some instructions to his team. Really happy with the progress of this team based out of Plymouth, Michigan, USA Hockey National Team Development Program. As they continue to learn and grow, face adversity. Right off the draw, wrist shot missing by Belushko. And what they play for all season long, this is their Stanley Cup. This U18 tournament trying to bring a gold medal back and go back to back for the program. Here's Larilla from his own zone. Lorilla off the boards, upper plot. Iserman, he was streaking in, trying to get the shot away as bodies barrel into the crease area. And finally a whistle as Plant was in there, as was Iserman who takes a shot late. Look out. As he got clipped by the official, and that continues as he tries to get a stick. Time. It was tough. Finland losing to Sweden in a close game, a one-goal game in the quarterfinal. But the hospitality has been great. The fans have been great. We've enjoyed our time in Espo and Ponta. It's the medal round here, here in Espo, home to about 300,000 people from the Helsinki metropolitan area. And a really close drive from downtown Helsinki, about 15 minutes with no traffic. Timo Solani, Yuri Lenton, F1 driver Kimi Räikkönen, and some famous names from these parts. And great Coho cities for this year's under-18 World Hockey Championship. Icing charge there. Back to North America next year in the USA. And then we saw Miro Chetan tweet out that the tournament will head to Slovakia in 2026. Once again, we were there in, I believe, 2017, Craig, right? Spies Ganova Vess. Craig Hughes was on that team. The U.S. won the gold medal. Brady Kachuk, Craig Hughes. Ryan right, Palin was on that team. That was a... Pretty impressive group of players. And the last gold until last year for USA in the program. Radovojevic fires it in as Kemp stops the puck and starts playoff ice for Team USA. There's Skahan, space in, shoots, score! Good speed as he cruised in, and Will Skahan has his first of the tournament. It's 5-1. Will Skahan jumping into that attack, and we saw E.J. Emery with some opportunities, but 
This starts right below the goal line. Hensler zips it around, and there you go, right to work. And the speed of LJ Mooney, he gets that puck on the move from Humphreys, and then Skahan, he jumps right into the attack here. Short side. Not known for his goal scoring, known for making it really difficult and hard on opponents. I think Will Skahan will be a 15-year NHL player. You watch Braden McNabb play for the Vegas Golden Knights. Big back was Hironik, and he kept it out. Desperation, but it worked. Higgins. Breaking in, Hagen's whiffed on the shot. You don't see that very often for number 10. Look out, blown tire in a two on one. The give and go to the backhand just wide as Maruna couldn't finish up in front. That was a gift you have to take advantage of. Hooking call coming up. My goodness, Maruna could have gave Slovakia a little bit of life right there. Hensler just loses his balance and his footing, and that leads to the two-on-one break. And Polvizal makes such a nice play, setting up Maruna, and Maruna can't, can't finish it off. But nonetheless, they draw a penalty, and they get a chance on a power play. Martin Hironi comes in relief. That was a pretty nice save. Last year was 7-1 in this exact same game. Semi-final between these two teams. And then it was Sweden USA for gold. USA won in overtime and a goal for Ryan Leonard. And it was Canada Slovakia for bronze. And it was Macklin Celebrini in overtime winning the bronze medal. And Macklin Celebrini will represent Team Canada at the upcoming men's worlds. They'll be based out of Prague in Czechia in their group. All those games available on TSN as well as Pika brings it in. Try to find Polbijal and Bednarik the other way. Lone man in shorthanded. Neil Bednarik driving in and look how he crashes into the net, into the goalie. This was the two on one and Maruna just is not able This was the one where the left arm swings back to keep that puck out of the net. Doing everything he can to keep the puck out. Minute 22 remaining. Your intermission coming up next with Laura Dyken, Dave Reed, and our entire control crew has done a wonderful job for TSN NHL Network. There's Pete Guy. He'll bring it in, hit by Whipple. Pika keeps moving into the corner. Straka racing after the puck. Emery took a shot from Pobigel and the USA able to clear. I mentioned Dylan St. Cyr, he tried to score an empty net goal in that cold medal game in 2017. Backfired, hit his teammate and went in his own net. Neil Rayom is the proud mom of those two players we talked about. The Goalie great for Team Canada, winning a couple World Championship gold medals. And we saw her here earlier in the tournament, cheering on Team USA. Belushko at the blue line. Wrist shot missed. Whipple jams it off the wall, down the ice. Meno also part of history, going to an NHL training camp with the Tampa Bay Lightning. And then in 1998, a member of Team Canada in the first Olympics with female hockey players. I think it's safe to call her a trailblazer. 100%. Kovan setting up far boards. Just a few seconds left in the power play. Chris shot, missed wide. And Skahan's out of the box and he's on the puck with Plot. USA in numbers, pass the crop, Plot shoots in the crease, still sitting there. And it goes into the corner. Peroni has been acrobatic to say the least since coming into this game. 
I don't think Max wants to put the puck in directly. He wants to squeak it through the goaltender. Hagen space in, shoots, try to work that five hole. Looking for his 10th goal of the tournament. Brought in offside by Connolly. Well, I guess when you score a goal, you start to think, hey, I can make all kinds of offensive plays and nice pass set up to Max Plot. And Max just can't squeak it through. Hironic. USA driving play again. Stiga pushed off the puck. Real Mullen picks it up. Real Mullen plays it behind the net. Backhand try at the side of the net. And Zimmer was shut down. They come again, Connolly. Potties and sticks to the left of Peroni. Connolly digs it free. Plays it to the line. Real Mullen. Little move. Plays it behind the net. Connolly centering pass in front. Stiga there. Back to Connolly. Connolly curls around. Connolly. Penalty coming up. Connolly driving play as. You can see it was Kemp trying to get the extra attacker out, racing for the bench. 23.8 to go, and the Americans on the power play. Trevor Connolly was second in league scoring in the USHL for Tri City. You can see going to the box there is Nicholas Berta. Yeah, there it is. Cross checking interference, tackling. Roughing, call it whatever you want. It's a two minute penalty and USA really asserted themselves here. Yeah, they're gonna review this. That's what they were talking about at Center Ice, the officials. And I think they're reviewing this for contact to the head. They very well may see evidence to increase this penalty. So right at the top of your screen, you can see Revertiel, Virtiel. Right here now you're gonna see, look at where that, I mean it's, He's holding the he's holding the stick in his upper hand, but it's clearly the glove that makes contact with the head holding the stick. I definitely think they have a case for head contact and pretty quick here for the decision. Two minutes. And it's roughing, they're calling it roughing. Remember, two of these teams will have one more game for sure, whether it's gold or bronze, and sometimes things can carry over with more discipline, but that's just a two-minute minor. A chance for the USA to pad the stats here a little bit. Higgins. Here's Zemer. Iserman. One shy now. Full top for the program record. In front. Hagen shoots. Rebound available. Poked away. As Hagen's always dangerous. Here's Hudson. Hagen's waiting across. One time drive. And that's off the stick. And I think it went out of play. And that's why it's whistled down. And it clipped the net. Well, the, the period also ended. The period's also over. USA asserted themselves in that second period and took control of this game. 5-1 USA, 20 minutes to come in our first semifinal. Laura and Dave have you covered next.
amount of studying can guarantee a gambling win. Find tips for safer play at gamblingisrandom.ca. Get up to 10% back in PC Optimum points with the no annual fee PC MasterCard and fast forward to free. Financial goals. Fidelity knows we've all got them. Maybe you want to own a home, or never own a home. Maybe you want to travel, or have a kid, or travel with your kid. Yours could be retiring early, or never retiring at all. At Fidelity, we know everyone has different goals. But the one thing we share, we all want to get to them sooner. Earn unlimited points that don't expire with the no annual fee PC MasterCard and fast forward to free. Technology goes beyond special effects or epic camera shots. Shh. It's my favorite part. It offers surprising new perspectives. It evokes feelings. It takes you places that seemed out of reach. When technology becomes an extension of yourself, that's progress you can feel. That's how it is. It's the Spring and On event at Leon's. Get amazing deals on furniture. Save up to 50% on select clearance mattresses. Save up to $1,000 on select appliance and TV packages. Spring into savings today. Get up to 10% back in PC Optimum points with the no annual fee PC MasterCard and fast forward to free. I wanna be a great one. WNBA is coming north of the border for a preseason game. It is live from Edmonton, Alberta. You can tune in tonight, 9.30 Eastern Time, 6.30 Pacific, to catch the WNBA Canada game featuring the Sparks and Storm right here on TSN. And with his three helpers over in Finland, the single U18 scoring record is all his. Brian now with Mr. 22, James Hagens. James, congratulations. You have the single tournament record now. I know you passed Nikita Kucherov, and that's special. But I just want to know, as a team and yourself, what's allowed you so much success so far in this tournament? Yeah, I mean, it's just being out there, putting full trust in the guys that I'm out there with. You know, we're, uh, we're working so well together, and it's just uh, it's a fun time being out there. There's, uh, there's nothing better to, you know, go out on the ice and uh, be able to play these games with those type of guys. And, you know, you see every guy, every, every guy's different, and, you know, it just brings bring something to the, to the team which helps us win out here and you know it's just huge the first period they played you guys pretty tough and you seem to open it up in the second period what did you guys start to do to get that offense going yeah we just uh, you know we, we started playing more discipline those uh, those little penalties were kind of getting to us it wasn't helping us out there which uh, you know once we stayed out of the box and we just uh, we kept forward checking staying on their D it kind of allowed us to you know open up our offensive play and it helped us out in the long run when you're cruising and your game's going really well, what stands out for you? What do you bring to Team to USA? I mean, I just try to uh, I try to make the guys around me better. I, uh, you know, I, I never want to be that guy that'll you know be known for hogging the puck or, or what. So you know, trying to you know make sure you have full trust in all your teammates and you know making sure they could uh, they could rely on you. That's kind of the biggest part about hockey. You know, and they, you know you can have trust in the guy that you're out there with, and you know they'll have your back. So uh, I think that's one of the biggest parts that uh, I try to bring to the team, and you know it. Uh, Hopefully I, uh, hopefully I do. Very well said, James. You do, and good luck to you. Thank you. 
And Dave, little did we know that here we would be a little over a week after this tournament started and James Hagens would set the single tournament record with 22 points. And, you know, he started this tournament with four points against Slovakia. He was named the player of the game and he's just kept it rolling. And again, it's amazing just to see his development, right? Because I mentioned last year he had yeah. five points, which is nothing to sneeze at, especially when you're an underager. And now here he is just taking over the record books. Yeah, the spotlight didn't shine on him last year. It didn't need to. There were plenty of players that the light was shining on, Will Smith being one of them. But in this tournament, this light is definitely shining on James Hagens. His ability to make players better uh, is absolutely remarkable. And that's what he says he wants to do. This is the uh, assist that ties the record. He pulls the puck back, wins the faceoff. But his ability to make plays uh, when there's nothing there and this goal is a perfect example there's nothing there he spins around he delays he just takes his time he understands where the game's going he's an extremely smart player and he is putting hop hog new york on the on the hockey map uh, just a, a remarkable talent when you are being mentioned or you're passing the likes of nikita kucherov in a u18 tournament for the single season uh, uh, scoring record in a tournament people are going to start to take notice if they haven't already we noticed him last year we're really noticing him this year. Boston College is going to get another tremendous player next year. Chances are he's only going to be there one year because I would suspect in 2025, being an underage or late birthday, he's three days off of the birth date of September 15th uh, for this year's draft. He will be the number one pick in 2025. And despite all these individual records falling here at the U18s for the Americans, they're still sticking to script, right? We're all about getting better. We're about getting players better. We want to improve as the tournament keeps going. And, and that was something we touched on in that first intermission. You were impressed by their face-offs. Now it's something else you're liking about the Americans. Yeah. Hagen's talked about uh, this is what hockey's all about. It's having trust in your teammates and making your teammates better players. Well, the U.S.'s penalty kill has been absolutely outstanding in this tournament. Early in the game, it's one nothing for the U.S. Guys are going in front of the shots, blocking the shots, tracking the pucks extremely well. And as this game moved along, both power plays has been the time that Slovakia has really kind of dominated possession time. And the, the, the first power play that the Slovakia had in the second period, it was all puck possession. And the U.S did a tremendous job of being in the shooting lanes, blocking the shots, sticks in the lanes, sticking to the script. This is a very, very good team. They can score plenty of goals, and, you know, as we discussed with James Hagen, is, is in on most of them. Uh, but also defensively, they don't let the opposition get close to, to their net. And we're seeing it in this game. We've seen it throughout the tournament. This is a deep team, a very solid team. It looks like they're going to be going to the gold medal game. Just getting stronger and stronger as this game goes on as well as we are in the second minute intermission of semifinal number one of the day. And there's another still to come. Yes, up next, we'll start to look ahead to Canada and Sweden in that semifinal for the men's U18s. Hey, Canada, come on down to Montana's and dig into our in-house smoked fall-off-the-bone ribs. Anchoring for more? Add your choice of seasoned chicken to any rib entree for just $5 each. Flavor and value only at Montana's, Canada's home for barbecue. Add some adventure to your summer during Yamaha's Right Here, Right Now sales event. Cash rebates, special finance offers, extended warranty, and more. Offers end May 31st. Visit your dealer or Yamaha's website for details. In my book, saving while shopping is a no-brainer. So I use Rakuten to get cash back while I'm book clubbing. Cha-ching! Well, how does that work? Well, stores pay Rakuten to send them shoppers. Rakuten shares that money with us in a check or PayPal payment. It's free and easy. Rakuten. Would you like the extended warranty for $150? Go add free for $29.99. Only three easy payments of $49.99 if you act now. We make thousands of financial decisions every day. Each one affects bigger decisions tomorrow. Stay on top of it all with the CIBC Smart Account. Hi, can I take your order? Hello? Oh, hey. Wait, what was the question? Let me guess. One driving high combo, extra baked? No, uh, could I get a burger with a side of fries? Think you're a better driver when you're high? Think again. Smoking weed affects reaction time and concentration. A message from Mad Canada. What drives us may be different, but what we share is the pursuit. 
whether taken on the job site or your own backyard. Let the pursuit of the perfect cut begin. Steel Zero Turn Mowers are here. Shop local, buy steel. Find yours at steel.ca. Oh, Uber Eats has groceries now? I gotta remember that. You know, the best way to remember something is just forget something. What'd you forget? Hard to say. I know what you forgot. I say down low, Hartzell, through the free shot, score! McKenna finds a way. He conjures up images of Nikita Kucherov. McKenna, waiting, it shoots, oh, he's close, short side, score! Out of midair, the captain's on the board! The Toronto Blue Jays could use some of that offense. Look out, McKenna, drift on the line, he's back up. Oh, what a pass goal! He's got another one, Porter Partone. McKenna was falling over, still set him up. Never loses focus, Gavin McKenna does. And we're, uh, while we're on a record-breaking watch with the Americans and Cole Hudson, Cole Iserman, and James Higgins, it's a record watch as well when it comes to Porter Martone and Gavin McKenna in Team Canada. McKenna and Martone, again, putting together a very special tournament in Finland. Both are on the cusp of breaking the record, the single tournament record by a Canadian. Uh, McKenna has now tied the record with his 15 points here at this tournament. Just what makes these two so special and how have they had so much success at this tournament? Yeah, that's the fun thing about this tournament, players from different sides of the country will get together and have great success. You, you've got Gavin McKenna from Whitehorse, and I wouldn't say to the far side of the country, but you've got Porter Martone, who's in Peterborough, but definitely in the eastern side of the country. And these two guys have really found some chemistry throughout this tournament. They look for each other, they see each other extremely well. And, and they're one point separating the two. Uh, Gavin McKenna is no question, uh, when you look at it, the playmaker, the guy making the rushes, the end-to-end -end driving the, the offense. Martone is not only the goal scorer, but he's got some tremendous hands on him as well. And they seem to look for each other. One's got 15, one's got 14 points. It's McKenna and Martone. There's the next closest player on the team is Tej again, and Malcolm Spence have seven points. So it shows you where the offense is coming from in Team Canada. It's these two players. They're electric. They can do it on their own. But when they're together, they've been pretty much unstoppable through this tournament. And Sweden will have their hands full trying to contain both McKenna and Martone together or individually. Martone looking to set the all-time Canadian mark for scoring at this tournament as well. Connor Bedard holds the record. Martone just a point behind. This is actually the first time at this tournament that Canada will be in Espo at Metro Arena. Uh, looking to even the score, though, they lost 7-2 last year in the semifinals to Sweden. 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific is when we will hit the airwaves to get you set for that one. But the U.S. in the driver's seat of this semifinal just a period away now from appearing in yet another gold medal game. Get up to 10% back in PC Optimum points with the no annual fee PC MasterCard and fast forward to free. And that's how I remember Uber Eats has coffee. I remember something by forgetting something else. Okay, have a seat. <laughs> a what? A, a, a seat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what's been... Oh. 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 Is this having a seat? Um, no. I can't believe you corporate types are still at it. Just stop calling each other rock stars. And using Workday to put finance and HR on one platform? Tim, you are a rock star. Using responsible AI doesn't make you a rock star. Kind of does. You are not rock stars. <clears throat> okay, most of you are not rock stars. Ooh, data-driven insights and large language models. Oh, that's so rock and roll. It is, right? He gets it, yeah. Earn unlimited points that don't expire with the no annual fee PC MasterCard and fast forward to free. of studying can guarantee a gambling win. Find tips for safer play at gamblingisrandom.ca. 
Hey, Canada, come on down to Montana's and dig into our in-house smoked fall-off-the-bone ribs. Anchoring for more? Add your choice of seasoned chicken to any rib entree for just $5 each. Flavor and value only at Montana's, Canada's home for barbecue. Get up to 10% back in PC Optimum points with the no annual fee PC MasterCard and fast forward to free. 12 different American players picking up at least a point so far in these first two periods of this semifinal, holding on to that 5 1 lead. Third period on deck. So here again, Brian and Craig. Welcome back to Espo. Just four teams remain chasing down gold, silver, and bronze. And USA, a great start in semifinal number one as they have the lead. The United States has won 11 straight versus Slovakia in this tournament all time. They met back in the day in the quarters before two. 2007 USA winning 7 2. They met in 2014 in the quarters, a 6 2 win. And it's a rematch of last year where the Americans were victorious 7 1. As we look at one of the tournament's stars, rising stars, and a late birthday as well for James Higgins, November 3rd. So he's not draft eligible until 2025. But a great start for him, a very well spoken young man. We appreciate his time. In the second intermission with his interview, now 22 points as he passes the great Nikita Kucherov. He chased the starting goalie from the net, so now it's Martin Hironik is in for Slovakia. And power play time to start this third period for Team USA, a minute 35 on the man advantage. One record down, now we'll watch to see what Cole Eisenman can do here to see if he can get 126 and tie Cole Coffey all-time goal scorer. He's set up near circle right now is Cole Eiserman. He's got the puck on his stick. Has a goal in the game already. He'll hand it off down low. Zemer for Hagens. Hagens in the corner. Up top for Hudson. Who's also scored. Eiserman thought about the one-timer. Gets it back. Loads up. Score! He's tied Cole Caulfield. Goal 126 of the program. And that was a rocket near circle. So when you tie a record as significant as Cole Caulfield's, I called Cole Caulfield, Goal Caulfield. So when you tie that record, Goal Iserman, 126. <laughs> yeah, he knows it. Now the, the next goal he scores will be 127. It'll set an all-time record. And I really thought, Brian, that that was a record that would be really difficult to break and unbelievable, unbelievable talent. And just keep this in mind, Brian, all he does is score. <laughs> that's how that's how scouts criticize him. All he does is score. Yeah. Give me the guy that can score. You know, Nick Ford talked about his game in his season saying, well, you do the hardest thing there is to do in hockey. You score goals. And if you build off that 200 foot game and learn to play defense and continue to work on your craft. He is going to be a phenomenal player in the NHL. 1977 draft. Mike Bossy was in it. All he did was score. Islanders were picking 15th. They were looking at a big, strong player from Western Canada and Mike Bossy. And they went to Al Arbor, who was the head coach. Bill Torrey was the manager, Hall of Fame manager. Said to Bill, and said to Al, he goes, We got this big, strong kid. Got a great goal scorer. We got Bossy, who's a great goal scorer. Not great at defense. Connolly shoots off the side of the net. Al Arbor says, give me the goal scorer. I can <laughs> teach him how to play defense. The rest is history. Nine straight 50 goal seasons from the time he started in the league. His back forced him to retire after his 10th season when he only scored 38. LJ Mooney, a little burst of speed. Mooney into the back end. His cousin Logan Cooley in the NHL, playing NHL hockey now in Utah. And for the record, I consider Mike Bossy the best goal scorer that's ever played in the NHL. The tournament record, single tournament record, is combined. Ovechkin and Cole Caulfield both had 14 in a single tournament. Eiserman has eight. He had nine. Last year, tied with Will Smith in that tournament, nine goals. Hagens has nine, entering today's game. 
Here's Connell. Humphreys trying to steal the puck. My belief is, is you know, Cole Eisman is determined, he's competitive. You get him playing with a really good playmaking center, he'll fill the net. Players need caught. I mean, Os Alexander Ovechkin, how instrumental Nick Backstrom was to his oh. goal scoring success. Ready mates for a long time in Washington. And Mike, Mike Bossy recognized the brilliance of Brian Trotchio. It will be every offensive franchise record except for assists. Baxter voting that. <laughs> it's, uh, Obi will get that one. Here's Demitz, who has a goal in the game, the only goal for Slovakia. Good job by Stiga, got back, took it away up for Zemer. Zemer stretching it up ahead to the forehand. And trying to put it in front of him was Hagens. Kind of ran out of real estate, he brought it behind the net. Hagens walks it in again, waits. Didn't get the shot off. Puck dead center, picked up by Eisner. Eisner lifts it up quickly. In comes Plant. That's Plant in the corner. One of the guys that got some praise from as well from Nick Ford, the head coach. Max is a guy that will be that vocal guy on the bench when needed. Doesn't do it often, but he's a guy, he's a leader on that team and on that bench when things have to get kind of back to even feel. Good spot again. Hudson, I hit a skate, Bednarik picks it up. Special game for the Bednarik family is both parents from Slovakia. He was raised in the Chicago area playing his hockey, number 11 for Team USA. Americans bring it in, led by Eiserman towards the net, and that was Hironik, steered that aside. There's a good play by Eiserman coming back hard. Each go shoots, good stop, as camp has not been busy the last 20 minutes or so of this game. McMorrell sends it across. Van Vliet tried to follow up, pass intended for Fensagi. McMore off the line and he'll fire it in. On a record-breaking day, Hagen's getting 22 points and setting the all-time U18 single tournament record. And Cole Eiserman, record tying 126 goals in the National Team Development Program. You can't overlook the significance of that. And, and Max Platt has just quietly gone about his business being excellent throughout. Pass into the slot area. Worth mentioning, too, he did it a number of games ago, but Cole Hudson is the all-time points leader for defensemen in the program. Humphreys in the corner. So 6-1 USA, looking for more. Moody just lost the puck. He was dangling, wasn't he, LJ Moody? Yes, he was. Here's Straka, trying to cut it, and Real Mullen, who took him into the corner hard. And he's holding his hand in the corner. It's been a tough game for Straka. Humphreys the other way, brings it in, drops it off. Connolly shoots, he missed up high. And Straka down in the corner, they'll blow play down. Remember, he took the big body check at his blue line. We'll step aside. Hockey fans, get your Hockey Canada gear at shop.hockeycanada.ca the official online store of Hockey Canada and the largest selection of Hockey Canada gear anywhere. Get jerseys, men's and women's tees, hoodies, headwear, and more. Don't miss out. Shop now and get today's special offer. Shop.HockeyCanada.ca, a fanatic's experience. Ram Power Days are here. The power to choose from the most awarded truck brand over the last five years. Like Ram Classic, as versatile as it is capable. Ram 1500, voted best large pickup in Canada. Or Ram Heavy Duty, with a no-charge Cummins turbo diesel engine. The power is yours. The time is now. 
Get 20% off MSRP on Ram Classic for up to 14200 in discounts. Plus get 4.99% financing. Still attending to Andreas Straka. Dakota. Raul Mullen. They were going for a puck and he was trying to make a play versus Raul Mullen. And Raul Mullen just kind of pushes him and far enough from the boards where you have momentum and certainly falls into there and right away hold that left arm. They got him to the bench. Jack Parsons is the backup goalie for this game. So he's going to come on. And you can see him now in front of Kemp, who takes the seat. He's starting to do his warm-ups to come into this contest. Well, and, it, and you think about, you know, the, the, the goaltending. Nick Kemp has been very good. You know, give Jack Parsons a little bit of playing time into the net. A couple of other players that have been part of this program from day one, Charlie Pardew and Noah LaPointe. They haven't been able to play in this tournament. 25 players are registered, are part of it, but can only register 23 for playing. But they've been a big part of the program. Nick Thor talks about how important they are, how important they've been to the development of this team. And as you get to a tournament like this and you got to practice every morning, keep yourself ready in case of injury. He said he can't speak more highly of those two young players and what they've meant to this group. Good hustle, Christian Humphreys in the corner, creating some space. Humphreys still with it. Christian Humphreys in on the puck. Round the net, he goes again. Up for Lorilla. Lorilla tried that backdoor feed, interrupted, and brought to center. Here's Pichka. Watched by Lorilla. Seven minutes gone in this third period. Canada, Sweden coming up next, the second semifinal from here in Espo. Zubik, look out, gave it away. Van Vliet's in, had the net with a backhand, couldn't pull the trigger, and then the follow up pass comes all the way to John Whipple. Whipple for Emery. Emery in shoots, missed high glove side. Canada looking for their first gold medal at this tournament since 2021. Alexander Zetterberg, a star player for Sweden. He was injured in the final preliminary game. He didn't play in that quarterfinal versus Finland, so we'll be interested to see hopefully he can return. There's number 26 for Sweden. Here's Emery, near point. Pass intended for Van Vliet, who's broken up. Baker in the corner. Austin Baker. Got spun around. Skahan. They'll play it back in the USA territory as the Americans will look for gold mender number 12. 12 gold medals all time. Skahan brings it in for Baker. They'll shoot, and it was knocked out in front and then cleared. Icing charge versus Slovakia. I want to talk about this, this team and the nation of Slovakia in particular. You go back to the draft in Montreal. Joris Slavkovsky, number one. Simon Nemitz, number two. We talked about his brother who scored in this game. First time in history, the NHL draft that... They go one two from the country of Slovakia. Pretty cool stuff. And that Olympic bronze medal, their first as well, back in 2022, where Slavkovsky had seven goals as the MVP. There's Shatan cutting in. Shot off a stick of Raw, and that's going to hit the netting and go out of play. So now Slovakia, what they have to be able to do is just get themselves ready, get themselves into a state of resolve to get prepared for the bronze medal game. They were fantastic last year in the bronze medal game, losing to Canada in overtime. Great overtime winner by, what do you call it? You call it the golden goal when you win the gold. What do you call it when you win the bronze? 
The celebration from Celebrini as they brought home that bronze medal. He was great in that tournament, Macklin Celebrini. And hockey fans will get to watch him on DSN at the Worlds, competing for Team Canada at the Men's Worlds coming up. 15 points in that tournament to tie Toast Tyson Jones for all time points in a single U18 tournament by a Canadian player. And now we're sitting watching Gavin McKenna on 15 as he enters the somewhat final match a little bit later versus Sweden. Porter Martone sitting at 14. It's been a record breaking, record tying day. Record breaking by James Hagens. Breaking the all-time U18 point scoring record held by Nikita Kucherov. Paul Eisenman tying the all-time goal scoring record for the NTDP. Now McKenna and Martone are going to have a chance to see if they can continue this record breaking record tying game. A couple of the US, or a couple of the Canadian players taking it in. Captain Porto Martone has a chance to become the all-time U18 points leader past Connor Bedard as well. He's just a couple shy. With two games to come for sure, obviously. Canada beating Sweden in the first prelim game as a Slovak player is down. Penalty coming out to USA. This is going to be a boarding penalty. That's Tobias Pietka, and he's in some discomfort on the ice. Bednarik to the box. I see it as a boarding penalty. Just coming there. And hits him on the shoulders, but there's force going through there as you're close to the boards there. And Eisenman again trying to get on a loose puck. Oh, they're going to review it. Now, did that stick get him up? above the neck area as he followed through. Feels like just a boarding penalty. Feels like the look of a boarding penalty, I should say. So another review and hoping they get things right. There was some big time delays in this building, Craig, back in the preliminary round. And that was involving Slovakia and Norway. The Zamboni broke down. So they had to get the forklift, get it out. Then they actually finished the period in the practice rink here in Espo. Fixed up the ice and got back to some hockey. Mil Bednarik waiting his fate. Committed to play for Boston University in the NCAA. Officials now having a little discussion. What did you see? Here's what I saw. Certainly forceful. Two minutes boarding, yep. Slovakia back on the power play, down by five. Slopkowski's going, Nemitz going, Thomas Tatar, Pospisil, Martin Ferrari's also been 
confirmed to compete at the Men's World Hockey Championship. They'll compete in the group at Estrava. Short-handed chance. In comes Baker. He'll curl around, kill off some more shot. Baker, right in front, shot stop, rebound, what a look! Cody Seaver denied by Hroni. Great save in tight. It was a great save, and you know, Brody Zemer had a chance to size up any part of the net. And oh. It's an awesome save by Hroni. He might get another chance, flip to space. Uh, they're saying he knocked it down with a high stick, but Oshmichel took a big shoulder after he touched the puck with possession. As Pobijal will start a change. That was a big body check into the boards. Radovojevic gloves it down to his stick. Harenko leaves. Lachinsky. And Harenko. Harenko. Belushko. High shot. That hits Straka in front. And it's good to see him again. He was banged up a few times. Two on one, though shorthanded. Mooney with it. Across, and he just missed McMorrow. Got him all queued up for goal number seven. Penalty upcoming to Slovakia here. The tripping penalty through the neutral zone as McMorrow was coming back into the play. Right after the two-on-one, McMorrow is going to the far post, but coming right back through the middle here, there's the locking of the skate, Shatan and McMorrow, and that's where the penalty was called. It was a good first period. Slovakia didn't back down. They were physical. They were competitive. And that second period, United States found another gear. At 3-1, Slovakia had a power play. And, and they had the puck for the whole time in the zone, had some chances, had some good looks, and they couldn't score. And then after that, USA just took control. And, and, and more than anything, they, 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 they just have, have dampened the spirit of Slovakia. Now it's seven to go, 6-1, USA. Hey, Canada, come on down to Montana's and dig into our in-house smoked fall-off-the-bone ribs. Anchoring for more? Add your choice of seasoned chicken to any rib entree for just $5 each. Flavor and value only at Montana's, Canada's home for barbecue. Oh, did you ask your doctor about Rebelsis? Actually, I'm seeing my doctor later today. Did you say Rebelsis? I take Rebelsis. Okay, order up four Rebelsis. I mean, Rachel. Rebelsis. Ask your doctor if Rebelsis is right for you. Hi, can I take your order? Hello? Oh, hey. Wait, what was the question? Let me guess. One driving high combo, extra bait? No. Uh, could I get a burger with a side of... fries? Think you're a better driver when you're high? Think again. Smoking weed affects reaction time and concentration. A message from Mad Canada. Welcome back to Espo. Power play time for Team USA. Thirty-seven, eighteen. The shots in favor of the Americans. Off the draw, Connolly. Backdoor feed. That was a good job to pick that off, and it's Lachinsky. He'll hand it off and go towards the net. Penalty upcoming to the USA. I think Trevor Conley's going to get a tricky penalty. So they're going back and forth here to the box. Again, the, the, these plays where you just kind of clip the player. Conley's coming back there, and he just kind of catches the legs and kind of work back defensively. There's a time where you can put the stick on a player, hook them, and just ride them all the way back up the ice. Thank God those days are over. Four on three for 24 seconds. 
Polushka. Wrist shot. Knocked down in front just by Jack Parsons, who's coming to relief in this game for Kemp. Just to give Kemp a little bit of rest now for the gold medal game. That shot hit him right in the mask. Parsons, though, shakes it off, makes the stop. Now four on four hockey. Belushko off the right side. Play into the corner. EJ Emery picked it off. Emery on the move. Emery. LJ Mooney trying to dish it in front and does score. Great feed from Mooney. And what's going to bury it? Seven on the board. EJ Emery up the ice, head up the whole time. We can clearly see where LJ Mooney is stepping into the play. There's a good intercept in the defensive zone by EJ Emery. And you can see where Mooney opens himself up. Max Plant goes to the far post. A little tap in. Just a great play all the way up the ice. Great read by EJ Emery. You can see, okay, what, what do I got here? Oh. There's Mooney, quick touch pass, 7-1. And I, again, on a record time, record breaking, record tied at Max Platt has been great for Team USA today. All smiles on that bench. He's got his first two goals of the tournament in this game. And I hope Grandpa Bruce is at home in Hermantown listening to this. His son Derek sitting right in front of us, so Mother Christie in the corner. <laughs> Here's Baker. Real Mullen jumping into the play. It's handed off to Van Vliet. Van Vliet, creating space, cutting in. Good pull the trigger. Van Vliet flips it to the line. Real Mullen lost it. And it's Nemitz the other way. The only goal scorer for Slovakia. Renko shoots off the post. Stay out. Rattle the bar behind Jack Parsons. Here's Hensler. Logan Hensler stops. Try to pass it up top. Pacheco taken down, penalty coming up. And a rush here, Maruna shoots it just wide. Dead empty for Slovakia. Extra attacker out, and a delayed penalty. Straka. A little bit of pace over the blue line. Flips to the left side, nobody home as Molina will get possession. So for a second, a five on three, we'll get a little bit of penalty to Bentley. Again, just reaching in and trying, trying to get those legs moving quickly and then quick shot up on the crossbar on Parsons. You can see where Parsons is, Parsons is head. He hears the bar, and he's hoping it doesn't fall into the net. That's shipped out of play into the Team Slovakia pitch. Our second semifinal coming up. Team Canada beat Sweden 6-3 to three in their opener. They were in the same group back in Banta last year. Different story. Sweden beat up on Canada. What was it? Eight or nine, nothing in the opener. And then Sweden beat Canada again in Switzerland last year. So Canada, a little revenge. And the returning player is the captain. That'll be next on TSN. You know that Porter Martone has not forgot about that last year. And he's having a wonderful tournament this year for Team Canada. Good job by Bednarek, his steer play to center. USA coming in actually the most disciplined team in the tournament. Canada the most penalized through the preliminary stage. Formats change at this tournament over the years, but Slovakia just two medals all time. They won in 1999 a bronze and a silver. In 2003, and their best finish in 20 years last year, and back-to-back -back semifinals. Awesome stuff for the program. There's Pichet. 
No stop on a dime. Trying to shake off Baker. Draka there as well. Radovojevic at the line. He'll flip it across. Tomi. Tobias Tobi. Tomi goes up top. Radovojevic for Straka. Straka, slap pass. Again, Tomi lined up and fanned on the shot. 20 seconds left in the power play. Shane Ben Sagi able to clear that to center. Radovojevic circles around. Luka Radovojevic. Lost the puck. Stiga chips to himself. Stiga, quick pace, drives in and a good shot there on Aroni. Under five to go, and we got five on five hockey now. LJ Mooney. Weaving, creating, took the hit, dropped it off. Great shot right on as John Whipple had a lot of space inside and Martin Haroni to save. Neutralon has been nourishing the lawns and lives of Canadians for over 35 years. With our ecology-friendly lawn care, we eliminate weeds and prevent destructive insects from feeding on your grass. Improve the overall health of your lawn. Visit Neutralon.com. And that's how I remember Uber Eats has coffee. I remember something by forgetting something else. Okay. Have a seat. <laughs> a what? A, a seat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what's been... Oh. 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 Is this having a seat? Uh, no. Do we really have any choice at all? Everyone has a choice. And every choice has a consequence. Which do you choose? It's full of tough choices. Yeah, How do you choose? We've seen a fantastic collection of talent in this tournament. Cole Caulfield and Trevor Zegras. Cole Caulfield, 14 goals in the tournament. Trevor Zegras, the MVP at the World Junior Tournament in 2021. James Hagen's the front runner for MVP here. And Brian, you're going to see Zegras and Caulfield at the World Championships coming up in Czechia. And I am sure we're going to see jerseys in the future of Iserman and Hagen's. And some of the other, McKenna, Martone. Star power in this tournament, Craig, you nailed it. Reunited and it feels so good for Caulfield and Zegras. Pass in front of Eisterman. Now looking to pass goal Caulfield on the all-time list. USA Hockey National Team from the program. Hagens zips that across. Nick Porlo made it very clear. This year's about a gold medal, not records, but Eisterman, he's out there fishing for one. Connolly. Eyes have been to Connolly. Broken up by Slovakia. As Rito starts to play to the line. Rito trying to get it to Nemitz. Nemitz in shoots. Couldn't go short side as Jack Parsons. Good save there. 3.30 to go. USA comes again. It's funny, they're all looking for where 34 is. You saw Hagen's eyeing him up. There is Eiserman. They'll pick up the puck. Try to dish it through. Chatan, a good stick to break it up. Eiserman, back on the puck. He'll take it out to center and then tried to lift it in. I think that hit Maruna. He'll start a change. Here's Hudson. He'll dish it off to the left side. Fired around the boards. Right back to Cole Hudson. Hudson at the line. Hudson centering in front. McMorrow trying to find it. And Emery slams it back in for Team USA. There's Platt looking for the hat trick goal. Emery waits, shoots, and that's off the back of Tobias. Hill and out of play. 
AJ Emery and Cole Hudson are such a great pair. You know, Cole Hudson, the creativity, the imagination, and EJ is just that, that stabilizer, that pillar that allows Cole Hudson to do what he does best. And Cole knows that he's got EJ Emery to do some big time heavy lifting. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a darn good partnership on the back end for Team USA. EJ's favorite team, where mom and dad call home now, Vancouver, the Vancouver Canucks. Pass in front, broken up by Slovakia. On the move is Van Vliet. He'll send it to the line. Rail Mullet. Final two minutes, our first semifinal. Well, the Vancouver Canucks are on to the second round of the NHL playoffs. Arthur Silas. Yeah. Had to step in there. A shutout of the game clinching one-nothing victory versus Nashville. We saw what he did last year at the World Championships. Leading Latvia to a bronze medal. Well now for Slovakia, it's about getting ready for the bronze medal game. Mentioned last year against Canada, they were full marks, they were excellent for losing in overtime. Now they get a chance to try to change the ending this year. Oshinsky pushed off the puck. And there's a silver lining. You get a little more rest than the team that loses tonight for that bronze. As Connolly cutting in. Connolly nearly tucked that one home for number eight. I was chuckled, Brian, because I think about how young these kids are. They're not very far removed from playing mini sticks during three games in a day tournaments. Whipple to Connolly. Connolly will backhand it in. Then it's back. Off the right side is Horenko. Horenko to Tan. Backhand wide. Maruda digging for the puck. Maruda. Horenko. Two on one. Shot score. Top shelf. Thomas Horenko buries it his second of the tournament. And that'll make him feel pretty good going into that bronze medal game tomorrow. It sure will. It sure will. Quick snapshot. Maneuvers into that slot area. And a really good shot. Turnover right there. Nice play by Maruna to get himself in position. Yeah. Be happy. He just scored a goal. That's a very good team. And like you said, Brian, build for tomorrow. Build that confidence. Are you playing this out of the tournament, Craig? I think it's a great point. Like someday, the kid from Kazakhstan that got the hat trick versus Canada. These moments like this, you take USA, it was a tough first period. You'll look at this this lineup in five, six years and look at the star power of the NHL for this American team. I mean, for these other sides, it's cool moments, what you can do in a tournament like this. Well, international hockey gives you an opportunity for different moments to become meaningful to you over time. The hat trick versus Canada, that's just a moment. And there's going to be a lot of those moments where you can celebrate something significant. Yeah, go on YouTube and see that celebration at Lafayette and Riga after they won a bronze last year. It was insane. Here's Vansagi, maybe one last chance for USA. Centers it. A few seconds remaining. The United States in back-to-back -back years will go for gold. And actually, three consecutive years. They lost three years ago to Sweden. They beat Sweden last year, and they're back for gold one more time here in Finland. Slovakia proved to be a good test. And, and, and a good test they were, and certainly got the attention of USA before taking control in the second period. Cole Eisenman will have one more game to try to set the all-time goal-scoring record at the USA National Team Development Program. And the job not done for Nick Ford and his coaching staff. This is the goal. Make that gold medal game 
and bring it back to the United States, trying to go back to back. So players the of the game, and then the I believe the tournament for the both sides as well. Of the and as you can see, the hardware IHF laid out for these young men. Under 18 World Championship Tournament. Hyvät naiset ja herrat, nyt on aika palkita ottelun parhaimmat pelaajat. Vuoden 2024 IHF jääkiekon alle 18-vuotiaiden MM-kisojen sponsori ILAC palkitsee molempien joukkueiden parhaat pelaajat. The best player award for Team Slovakia will be awarded by City of Vanta Sports Director. Slovakian Joko and Barma Belaya Balkin. You know, for Slovakia, look at the defense for Adobojevic had a strong tournament. Maruna will sit out. The captain, Kovacels, had a strong tournament. For Team USA will be awarded by City of Espo Director of Sports. USA Joko and Barma Belaya Balkin or Yaka. Espoon kaupungin liikuntajohtaja Martti Merra. The best player of Team Slovakia. Slovakian joukkueen paras pelaaja. Numero kahdeksan, number eight, Mihal Liszczynski. Mikhailovchinsky, player of the game for Team Slovakia. The best player of Team USA, USA Jokoen paras pelaaja, numero 10, number 10, James Hagen. There was there was a few to pick from. I don't think you can go wrong with James or Max Plant or Cole Eiserman or just a real good. Tournament, one more to go. Trying to be part of back to back gold medal winning teams. Along with Cole Hudson and Cole Eiserman. And now it is time to award the three best players of the tournament for both teams. The awards will be presented by Tiso, the official partner of the 2024 IIHF Ice Hockey Under-18 World Championship Tournament. The three best player awards are selected by each respective team and will be presented by IIHF Life Member and Tournament Chairperson, Mr. Frank Gonzalez. The three best players of Team Slovakia are number 10, Tomasz Pobezal, number 13, Tobias Tomic, number 26, Luka Radivojevic. I had two out of the three. I'll take that. Radivojevic was great on the back end offensively in the entire tournament, number 26. Pobezal, five goals in the tournament. Tomic and Radovojevic can return next year. Radovojevic, the son of Branko Radovojevic, played in the NHL. That's an opportunity internationally. The three best Tobias Tomic rounding out their USA top three. Are number eight, Teddy Stiga. Number 10, James Hagens. Number 23, Cole Hudson. Tough to argue those names, Craig, all dynamite. Uh, Hudson and Hagen's looking for back-to-back -back gold, and you mentioned Eiserman as well, all three returning players. Stiga has been excellent. 
Canada, Sweden later on tonight, but first, the American National Anthem. Arvoisa yleisö, jos pystyt, pyydän nousemaan ylös ja ottamaan hatun päästäsi kuuntelemaan voittajajoukkue USA:n kansallishymni. history the gold medal game will feature the United States thanks to their semi-final victory they'll be playing for gold tomorrow we'll wrap it all up right after this the 2024 men's u18 world championship from Finland is brought to you in part by tell us let's make the future friendly together by Esso celebrate the dedication growth and team spirit of minor hockey players with Esso medals and by Tim's new Greatest Duos trading cards with two iconic hockey players on every card. Get yours today at Tim's. Financial goals. Fidelity knows we've all got them. Maybe you want to own a home or never own a home. Maybe you want to travel or have a kid or travel with your kid. Yours could be retiring early or never retiring at all. At Fidelity, we know everyone has different goals. But the one thing we share, we all want to get to them sooner. with incredible five-day deals. Save $800 on this sofa. Rusted queen bed, just $2.99. Plus, while quantities last, 33-inch side-by-side fridge, only $7.99. The Fridge, saving you more. Hey, Canada, come on down to Montana's and dig into our in-house smoked fall-off-the-bone ribs. Anchoring for more? Add your choice of seasoned chicken to any rib entree for just $5 each. Flavor and value, only at Montana's, Canada's home for barbecue. Three of the most coveted trophies in hockey are up for grabs as champions will be crowned in the OHL, the WHL, and the QMJHL. Countless hockey greats have hoisted this precious hardware. What they've all been dreaming for. Now, it's time for the stars of tomorrow. A photo that will live for the rest of time. The CHL League Championships live on TSN. Team USA has stepped closer to becoming the first back-to-back -back gold medalist at this tournament in almost a decade. Team USA also did the same back in 2014 and 2015. 
The U.S. has had a lot of international success so far in 2024. We go back to January, won gold at the World Juniors, won gold at the Women's U18s a couple weeks ago, winning silver at the Women's Worlds, and now here will win either gold or silver at the Men's U18s. Dave and Laura back with you once again. A record-setting day, also a almost record-setting day for another player as well, and for James Hagens and Cole Eiserman, just putting together a fantastic tournament, one that we've never really seen done before, and I mean, in a way, kind of nice to get these milestones out of the way in the semifinals so you can yes. focus on the task at hand tomorrow. Yes, Cole Eiserman would have had, loved to have that <laughs> one more, to get that one more goal than Cole Caulfield did in their, his national team development program career. But either way, this team is going once again to the gold medal game, and James Hagens has been a dominant, dominant player throughout this tournament. His play with the puck has been uh, record-setting as he passed Nikita Kucherov for most points in a tournament by any player, not just a, a, an American-born player. His vision, his ability to see the ice, his playmaking are absolutely exceptional. He came into this tournament as a returning player with a gold medal under his belt and is going to be getting the opportunity to get another gold medal. Cole Eiserman, on the other hand, is a straight goal scorer. He hadn't scored in a couple of games, and then he came in against Slovakia, he scores two goals in this game. He's one away, as I said, from Cole Caulfield's all-time record. A quick shot, if you watch this young man play closely, he carries his stick as though he is going to shoot the puck every time he's on the ice. He doesn't wait for the to get into position. His stick is ready to shoot at any moment, anywhere in the offense. And you can see why he scores so many goals. A very dynamic.